and then give me a go ahead and then I'll start talking. Hey everybody, uh, this is Stan Pokov. I'm a co-founder and CEO of TradingView and today uh, we're going to have a really short action-packed video of uh, introducing how the TradingView platform works with AMP. So AMP, uh, really good partners of ours, happy to be working with them and they've integrated the trading platform which is now available to you guys. So I'm going to really quickly run through all the features and um, I'm going to show you how to log in with a demo account and how to start using it basically if you're all new. So let's get rolling. I have my demo information set up. I choose my demo account, hit sign in, and uh, within a couple of seconds, you're going to be redirected to your dashboard. That's only your dashboard. And let's see if it works. All right. So we're now in, and this is the TradingView platform hooked up to your AMP. Uh, trading account. You can use it with a demo or a live, of course. So let's go over the main things that you currently see on your screen. On the top is the chart of any symbol. Uh, you can look up any symbol. You can analyze it in a variety of shapes or forms. At the bottom is the trading panel, which shows a record of your trades. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Top toolbar, you can change the symbol name. You can change the resolution for how much time each bar represents. You can change the chart type, bars, candles. You can also look at settings. Uh, these are for changing colors and styles of your chart. Uh, different indicators are available. These are all the ones in stock. You can apply one or more to your chart. You can compare this symbol, let's say ES to oil, if you wish to. Uh, and that's about it for the top toolbar. All right. This is important. So you can do a couple of charts at the same time. So if you're looking at a few things, you can be doing two charts, you can be doing four charts, you can do up to eight charts per tab. All right? We're going to stick with one for now. On the right-hand side, you got a watch list. So watch list are your favorite symbols, such as wheat, oil, whatever it is that you're watching. You just add them so you have it all at a glance, and if you click it, the actual chart comes up. So we're going to stick with EP. The headlines, if let's say we go for oil, you're going to have headlines for the particular symbol that you are looking at. Okay. I'm not sure whether or not coming up now. At the bottom, at the left-hand side, are your is your drawing toolbar. So you can analyze the chart in a variety of technical ways. Uh, you can draw trend lines, and if you hold down your mouse button, you'll see the choices for the different lines that you can do. So we can do a parallel channel, for example, to draw uh, on our chart right here, like this, right, to help you identify trends and movements. To delete it, you just highlight it and punch delete on your keyboard. You can also right-click on the chart and you get a full-blown menu like you would on a desktop, except it's awesome because it works on a browser, not any device, iPads, phones, anywhere you got a browser. So, and you got all the options uh, over here as well. So, compare, drawing tools, remove, you can play with this on your own. So, run over the drawings, really powerful, there's lots of them. There's pitchforks, uh, all sorts of fib and gone analysis available. You can write on your chart. So, let's say you have a note saying, uh, this is a cycle, oops, cycle. So you can write different types of notes on your chart. Um, these are different patterns. Again, uh, feel free to play around with them. These are predictive tools that help you predict and play with the different, like where you think the price is gonna go. So let's say a long position or bars pattern or date and price range, all of these help you um, sort of play uh, with your predictions and different arrows uh, and different symbols you can also put in your chart. Okay, so let's try placing an order. So let's say we wish to buy a contract of the CL. So you got this nice bar up here and that's where you trade from. So let's say I want to buy, I think it's going to go up. So I hit buy, this order ticket comes up. You can change different features, but we're going to keep it at market one buy. Boom, order has been placed. The red 
digits are your active P&L, so how much money you've made or lost in real time. And at the bottom is your record of what you've done. So you get one contract filled, when, how much, things like that, order ID. The, uh, so after this, you may want to place some bracket orders, like a take profit, for example, sell limit. So you just right click on the price level that you want, go to trading, sell limit. Again, this window comes up, you place sell, and then we want to place a protective stop at the bottom. So we go sell stop. Boom. Okay, so you got your nice brackets up and going. You can always change this at any time by just clicking, dragging this up and down. When you do click it up, uh, it says modify. So you just modify the order, and then the record is saved in your trading panel. So everything is very straightforward. If you have specific questions or troubles, AMP Support uh, is happy to help you with your particular questions. And this just about covers it. So unless I miss something, uh, we're going to do more extended videos in the future. So hope you enjoyed it.